Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you a, a simple logo to import. We're going to go to Import, uh, WMA logo, and it's a PDF. Now, I've already got PDF selected, but if, if you were on all files and folders, you need to go down and make sure that you do select the exact uh, extension that you want. And it's going to merge, and I click on Import, and I just click. On a PDF, there may be multiple pages. In this case, there isn't. There's just one. So here's what it's imported. Now, it, if this were a graphic that I can vectorize, I can double click on it, but it goes to this group viewer. So I know I, I can't do it with this. So I'm going to hold down the, the Alt key, and I'm going to just bring it down here. Now, another thing with Engrave Lab, I have learned that by having a logo be too small you will you will lose the uh, uh, detail of the logo so here I have it right here just a little bit larger so that it, it'll pick up the small areas and I'm gonna go under transform and I'm gonna render to bitmap and under the color depth I'm gonna select 256 gray and then you can give it a resolution you know, maybe we can try 150 here. And usually you don't want to keep original or add margin. So just click on apply. Now when I double click here, it brings up my vectorization option. So here's my trace setup. And I can just click on vectorize. And then close. And I'm going to click away. And you can see this kind of white shaded area. That's the bitmap. So that's what I don't need. And then here's the logo that is to engrave. So if I take this, I can again go to this top corner. And if I go to the top right corner, I can keep it uh, in proportion. And if I wanted to, I can now take this logo or take these two items, hold down the Alt key and take them down here to engrave whatever I need. Now just keep in mind if you want to do a filling process for this you would have to go arrange and make path and because this logo is pretty complicated there are a lot of uh, fills it will take quite a bit of time to fill and may or may not fill very well but at least you will be able to do the outline. Uh, when you get a logo that's this complicated with this many internal shapes um, usually you have to fill it in other programs other than uh, engrave lab the other thing that I do is I like assigning the color up here and just call it p1 so it's not p193 make that p1 also if I go control a I can assign everything to, to p1 hope this helps